Hi everyone, welcome to Holly's Beauty Box. Nearly can see it there. Uh, today I'm going to do my March Mayhem video. It's like all the stuff that I've bought this month that I wanted to share with you all. So I'll tell you where I got them on, how much they cost as well. Um, okay, so I'll start with this. This is MUA Makeup Academy BB, it's a beauty balm in light prime, smooth, and conceals. This here. It's good. But it's not great obviously I mean this was three pounds three pounds fifty something like that I just wanted to try out a beauty balm to see what it was like and I'm not hugely disappointed but I don't love it yet I'm gonna keep persevering though it, it, I, when I put it on it, it seems to flake ever so slightly after a little while and the coverage is quite uneven but to be fair with you they don't say it's a huge coverage or anything like that. It's just primes, smooths and conceals and if you use it that way you won't be too disappointed so give it a go if you want to but I don't love it yet. Next, last night me and the girls had a pamper night and we got all this different kind of stuff. Um, so we tried this. These are under eye collagen masks and I love them. You put them on for like 30 minutes and then you take them off. They do slide down your face a little bit so you have to adjust them now and again and they, they're really slimy. But um, yeah, we put them on for after about 30 minutes. All the blueness I had under my eyes, I had really bad bags and blueness under my eyes, it had all gone. So I would recommend using it. These, I got 10 sets on eBay for about £4, £4.50 thereabouts. You can't really go wrong with that. So go with that. On hold on just a minute. On the same note I got um, for the pamper night I got a little Yankee candle. It's just one of the little sample ones and this one is in cinnamon and it's so nice. It stinks like it's quite strong but it's, it's so good so we loved that last night as well. On the same note as well we got Planet Spa Province Lavender and Jasmine Purifying Face Mask from I think it's Avon. I think it's Avon is Planet Spa's brand. Yeah, it is. So we got that and we did that and it's appealing. It's appealing face mask. It makes your face really tight but it works really well and it smells so good as well. But if you've got sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend it because it does stink. So it's more <laughs> for use of a better word. For, I've forgotten that word anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. You, I would recommend it. I liked it. I really liked it actually. Me and the girls all really liked it. So if you want to give it a go, it's a peeling one. You put it on for about 20 minutes. Peel it off. Perfect. Go with it. Um, this isn't new, but it's for me because I lost it and I forgot I had it as well. So this is OPI. See it there? OPI Nail Cure obviously planks a lot and it's like a lavender -y, lilac -y colour. I don't know if that comes up so well on the camera. Yeah. So I, I'm going to try that again but um, I found it just recently and I, I tried it last night and I loved it. Um, I, but I took it off and put on a different colour. Um, and I'm, I don't know why I did that. But anyway yeah, I'm going to try it again, but I do love this and it was £10.50 from, I got that one from Sally's. Um, my other favourite is this Tresemme Heat Defence. Hopefully you can see that better. Heat Defence up to 230 degrees protection. Helps protect against damage from dryers and heat styling tools, smooth spreads and seals and shine styling spray. I put it on my hair whether it's damp, whether it's dry, anything like that. And although you wouldn't be able to tell just now, because my hair is so big and bushy just now, humidity, um, it has made a big difference to my hair, considering I bleached my hair, big disaster, I had black hair, like black hair, and went blonde, and then came with this colour, and then re anyway. So I had a big disaster and all the bleach that I used in my hair left my hair feeling terrible, and this stuff has really helped. And it cost me, I'm not sure how much it cost, I think it was something like 250 $3.50, something like that. And it's got like a little switch so you don't have to spray it, if, like so it, if it sits it doesn't spray all the time. So I'll, I really like that. Um, this however, 
it's not cool at all. This is Tresemme's 24 hour sky high plumping powder. Instantly lifts roots and adds matte texture. What a load of quiche. Shake, massage, style, results. My hair ended up looking like Bella Tech Bella Tex Bellatrix Lestrange from Harry Potter. It was like a crow's nest. It was awful. It was just awful. And then I thought, I must have misused it. So my sister used it. Put it in at her roots. Gave a little bit of volume. Stuck like a nothing else I have ever used. You couldn't get a brush through it. We, had, we conditioned it. You name it. My hair was awful. It was just, ugh. But this was like £5. I paid about £5 for it. Which I know it's not like a huge amount of money, but... For something you're never going to use again, it was disappointed. Um, oh yeah, I got this nice scarf, I don't know if you can see it. It's so pretty and I really like it. Yeah, but I got it from International today and it was only 3 99 reduced from £6 I think it was. And I, I really, really like it. Um, yeah, three three fifty it was from six ninety nine. My mistake. And I really like it. It smells nice. That's why I keep sniffing it. I'm sorry about that. And I've only got two other things to show. So I won't bore you for too much longer. This is I have been an ambassador. Oh, not quite, but you know what I mean. Of. MUA Makeup Academy Liquid Eyeliner. Actually, I just remembered I've got two other things to show you. Sorry. Um, MUA Makeup Academy um, from Superdrug because their stuff started at a pound and now there's nothing any more expensive than about four pounds or thereabouts. Um, and that's for like a big palette. So I try, I'm going to try, I mean, I've got this today. It's like a blue liquid eyeliner. I've never used blue liquid eyeliner before. I usually, if I'm going to do like a line on the top of my lid, I usually just do it either with a black eyeliner or a gel eyeliner or I use um, eyeshadow. But I'm going to give this a go, so I'll let you know how it goes. This is Collection 2000 Sheer Loose Powder. I've never used it before, but I've heard really good things about it. I'll let you know what it's like, but I only got it today, so that's why I haven't used it yet. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a blue and pink eye uh, with a pink lip. It's like a candy face, pretty much. I'm going to look like a candy stick. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use this in the tutorial. So I'll be able to let you know how it goes. And it was only 2 dollars from Superdrug as well. This is Brows A Go Go by Benefit. It was £22. It's quite expensive. I, th I think it was £22. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, um, brow and eye shaping kit. But I have to say, it is the best thing I have bought in a long time. It is, it has, I'll just show you. Can you see that okay? It has got a lighter brown, a darker brown, and a fairly dark brown eyebrow wax for your eyebrows. I actually did my eyebrows with it today. So. Don't know if you can see that so good. <laughs> um, but I'm really impressed with it. It also has a little brush. It's got two ends on it and one's like an angled one and one's like a fairly thin domed one. It has an eyeliner in it and it has shimmer and highlighter in it and it has a little pair of eyebrow tweezers with a big mirror. So I'm really pleased with that. I love this palette. I love how the packaging is so vintage and pretty i really love that last but not least i think i hope you hope <laughs> bourgeois i call it the chocolate palette i seen this on tanya burr's um makeup blog vlog thing youtube video that'll do and it, she calls it chocolate palette and i'm going to call it chocolate palette it looks literally like chocolate smells like chocolate when you put it on but i love this it's the, really, really the best bronzer that I've got. Um, when you put it on, it doesn't have shimmer in it, which means your face doesn't have that dirty look when you when you put it on. I've not got any on just now, but again, I'll do another tutorial for that. Um, so your face doesn't look dirty when you put it on, which is always a bonus. 
um, and too much product doesn't go on. Like you know how with some bronzers you, you mix it in, like you put your brush in and you, even though you swirl it on the back of your hand you still end up with a swirl, this big swirl, your big stripe up your face. You don't get that with this at all. It's very buildable and I love it. So yeah, I think that's it. See ya.